Okay, so this is a junior class. Let's go. This is a British short hair in cinnamon and white. Really cool color. Kind of brownish, but genetically cinnamon. We want to see these guys round like a Cheshire cat in Alice in Wonderland, originally developed in the United Kingdom. The body is not long and not short, semi cobby sits right in the center, broad in the chest, amazing structure in the front of the legs and the back of the legs. Roundness here, roundness to the eyes, roundness to the ears. British have a very unique coat which means it's crisp and dense and kind of breaks across the shoulders. You can kind of see these creases there. It's exactly what we want to see. They tend to be a little bit more reserved as you can see, but that's okay. It's a very nice example of the breed. This is our best of breed British and today number six. Are you guys sleeping? This young chap here, this is a Sphinx. Sphinx is a natural cat that has a degree of hairlessness. This is completely okay. <laughs> There's no, um, this is a natural thing. Sphinx are very, very attached to humans for very particular reasons. And if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. Sphinx cannot survive outside. They cannot survive in the cold. They cannot survive in the heat. So they are very, very attached to their humans because they need us. Think about your cats at home. Your cats at home are very opportunistic. They'll come to you when they want to get fed. They come to you when they want to get pet. These guys are with humans all the time because they need us. I don't like to say more dog-like, but sometimes a bit more dog-like. With these guys is very particular. We're looking for a large lemon shaped eye. We're looking for large ears set wide at the base. We're looking for some wrinkling in the face, not too much, not enough that it kind of affects the eye opening. We're looking for a pear shaped body. This is completely normal. We want to see a little bit of a pear here. Sphinx eat way more than a normal cat because they have to keep their body temperature up. So the pear shaped body is probably because they just ate, which they did. They have a long rat like tail. Sorry to say, but that is true. Very sweet, a very difficult cat to keep in condition. You know, they need to be bathed a couple times a month. They can get scratches. You think about your cat rubbing their face on the couch. They can get scrapes and cuts very, very easily. But usually they just like to eat and to sleep. All Sphinx, if you've ever met a Sphinx owner, they're all completely crazy. <laughs> and they never have only one. Best of breed Sphinx, number five. Wow. Second best of breed Bengal, believe it or not. Bengals originated in California. Visionary lady named Jean Mill had the first recorded cross of an Asian leopard cat and a domestic. The idea to create a loving lap leopard with a domestic personality. No other breed of cat has this rosetting, this flow of pattern. We're looking for a short, thick tail. We're looking for smallish ears, wide nose, large nocturnal eyes. The texture to the coat, the contrast is unbelievable. I love the whiting underneath here. Can you see this? Super, super cool. Very, very sweet. Very easy to handle. Best of breed Bengal today. Eh, sorry, second best of breed Bengal today is number four. Best to breed Siberian. Siberian is a natural long hair cat from Siberia, very good, or Russia. This is a nine month old male. Siberians take an extreme amount of time to mature. 
You see these all over Russia. They are their natural long-haired cat as the Maine Coon is our natural long-haired cat to the United States. Norwegian is natural long-haired cat, say, to Europe. They are full of everything round, rounded muzzle, rounded eyes, rounded ears, but their body is unmistakable. It's in a barrel shape. Can you see it's a little bit wider here and shorter and shorter here. You can see how big his paws are. He is gonna be a tank. He's already a tank, isn't he? This coat is a very unique triple coat. He's a little bit, it's summertime, so we gotta give him a little break, but think about this coat that they would need in the Siberian winters, it's full rough of like a lion almost. But the coat right now is pretty exceptional considering the time of year. In super condition for the show, best of breed Siberian is a number three. Best of breed Bengal, female. Now you look at this one and say, maybe not quite as flashy as the other one, right? The other one full of flash and glitz and glamour. This one, same thing though, wonderful arrow shaped rosetting. Look the flow to the pattern, look the thickness to the tail. The eye shape, nocturnal and large. I love the profile, straight rounded here into the back skull, which is really important for me. Rounded ears, the remnants of ocelli on the back, which means those whited spots like on a leopard or a tiger. Super condition, again, very, very, very busy. I love the width to her nose as well. Excellent example of the Bengal breed. Best Bengal, best short hair, and number two. Okay, best of breed, Maine Coon. This is a female, six months old. Unbelievable length to her body. Wonderful structure in the back. Look at this tail. Long, just as long as the body. We wanna see a Maine Coon with a feral expression. Large ears set at 11 and one like on a clock. Squareness to the muzzle, width to the nose. Unbelievable presentation for the show. Remember, this is a beauty contest at the end of the day. Her muscles have muscles. She's only six months old, just gonna get better and better. This is our best of breed Maine Coon, our best long hair and very best in show. Good?